The day-night cycle in Neverwinter Nights 2 is composed of various lighting stages set by an artist or designer, such as midday, evening, sunset, sunrise. And what this allows the game engine to do is kind of accurately change the light in both direction and color uh, along the ground for all of the characters in the game and interpolating between its morning color and its uh, high noon effect and on um, into evening. The lighting is 100% uh, dynamic. There's no lighting baked onto any surface in the game. What that means is every pixel that gets uh, shown to the end user has been lit in real time by the game engine. In Neverwinter Nights 2, we have both interior and exterior environments. Interiors are done with tiles. Exteriors are actually done with deformable terrain. As an example, here's an exterior area that's flat that we're starting with, just green grass. Now we're going to raise the environment, make a little hill here. We have over 50 textures of grass, cobblestones, rocks, uh, sand, uh, dirt, and you can mix them with up to six per map area. And you can adjust the uh, pressure of the pen so you can make nice variations. Um, you can also go in and do what we call vertex coloring. And that allows you to darken areas of the map so that you can give nice variety to the landscape by picking a color and adjusting the sensitivity and the size of the pen. And you can just go in here and paint little dark areas to kind of model the terrain. In Neverwinter Nights 2, we have hundreds of different placeable props, anywhere from a frying pan up to a ship, to a building, to ruins, to uh, uh, castles, all these different exterior buildings and objects you can just place and build. So you can mold your terrain, put buildings on it, paint your textures, uh, blend your textures, and build anywhere from a huge ruins to a major busy port. Another innovation in Neverwinter Nights 2 is we're using the speed tree technology. So we can generate these very realistic trees that have moving branches and leaves and they blow in the wind. Um, and they also don't take up a lot of uh, resources, so you can put a lot of them out there. Um, and you can adjust the look in each one. You can change the seed value and all of a sudden you can have two different versions of the same tree and they look completely different. Uh, the tool set in Neverwinter Nights 2 has great flexibility. You can pretty much build whatever you want. Plus, it's very fast and easy to lay something out. You can just sit down and start moving the terrain around, placing props, picking up, rotating them, reducing them in size, enlarging them in size. You can uh, add weathering. You can do a whole bunch of different things. Also, many objects have tinting. You can actually go in and change the roof color in buildings. Or you can go in on the ship and change the wood uh, texture. Um, you can adjust its color. So there's lots of variety.